Sky's the limit. The musical is coming to life, and prom's gonna be drastically different this year. All this and more on this edition of the Cat's Eye News. Hello Nova, welcome to this week's edition of the Cat's Eye News, and we're heading straight to Tamo with a story about student voices. Uh, I come in front of the board today uh, to present a petition on behalf of my fellow students, teachers, and other stakeholders in the community. That's an open letter that outlines the need, the result, uh, and the path to adoption of new board policy that will allow for a non-voting student representative uh, to be seated on the board with you. Earlier this month, sophomore Sky Ueki addressed the Novi School Board after the circulation of a survey sent out by the group Parents for Novi Together. We asked Sky how this event has affected his initiative he has led and why student opinion is so important in this day and age. Yeah, it, it definitely had a, a, a large impact on me. Um, obviously, you know, there are some students who support well, the rhetoric in that. Um, there are some students who don't support the rhetoric in that. Uh, but I think what, what the bigger arc here um, is that those students' voices don't feel represented. And, and when the board heard those comments and the board talked about it, there were no students present there, right? And as the people who have to sit through that curriculum, as the people who live that curriculum, uh, we should at least have some voice uh, when they talk about that curriculum, when they talk about uh, those kind of policies. Um, and, and so that, that definitely impacted uh, why I started that petition, um, impacted and really accentuated the need for that student voice at that decision making table, especially when those kind of decisions uh, are, are being made. So definitely, yeah. And I think if, if the board takes this seriously um, and sees that we really do care about this, although we might not exactly know how the representation is going to work or who is going to represent us, if they take it seriously that we do want our voices heard and they took a look at examples from around the world and around the country of schools who have already, school boards have already done this, um, I think it'll be beneficial. Thanks, Tamo. Now to Morgan and Lisa with an in-depth story on this year's musical. It is, like all things, a little bit different, or a lot of it different, depending on how you look at it. <clears throat> so we are, instead of doing one full show, have 12, having 12 separate pieces from 12 separate musicals that are all tied together, actually, by one piece called a musical, from a musical called Something Rotten. And so it's, it's a lot of managing, and then there's just also a definite level of tension of concern from the students, that something's gonna happen that requires them to quarantine and they will miss the show. Social distancing is a huge thing for the musical. We have to make sure that we're far apart and when we're dancing, that's a huge concern because we have to make sure that we are dancing in a way that we're not too close to each other. The masks are a huge deal. And then the songs, you know, COVID was a huge part of why we didn't do one whole musical. And so that's definitely been a huge factor of this year's musical, for sure. The blocking on stage is very different because we have to be away from each other when we would normally be closer. So it will look a little different on stage, but I think we did it in a nice way for it to look normal and fun to watch. There's a lot of partner dancing that usually happens. Um, and so we've had to, I mean, we have to be like distant, so we can't really like, partner dance. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a new experience, definitely an interesting one. Thanks Morgan and Lisa. And now on to Dana with a story about prom. So for senior sunset this year, it's kind of like prom and there's going to be like a red carpet where the seniors can take pictures and like dress nice and do all that stuff. And hey, then Jay. on the football Happy field, yourself. it's going to be like separated into chunks. And each of like the chunks, there's gonna be like activities and there's gonna be like bigger decorations and like it's sunset themed. So there's going to be um, like dark like reds, dark purples and stuff for the color scheme. There's gonna be food. You can, only seniors can come and there's no like bringing an outside date kind of thing. And um, yeah. Thanks, Dana. Now to Kennedy with another senior spotlight.
I've been playing lacrosse for four years. I started playing my freshman year of high school. What I like most about lacrosse is how the team gets along like really well and how we're all friends and how close we are. My favorite memory was when I scored my first goal on varsity and just like the team coming together to like congratulate me, so that was cute. Thanks, Kennedy. I can't wait to be a senior one day. Now to our sports team for all our Wildcat sports scores. What's up, Novi? Welcome to this week's sports update. Let's kick things off on the baseball timing, where the boys' baseball team had an absolutely dominating win against Dearborn Fordson, 36-1. to And they're in action on Thursday against Salem at home. Good luck, boys. On Tuesday, the girls' lacrosse is in action as they fell to Heartland. Good luck on Friday as the girls take on Brighton. And in addition, our girls' softball team is in action on Thursday against Salem at home. Good luck, girls. Also in action on Tuesday was the girls' soccer team as they tied Brighton 1-1. One one. They are in action on Friday against Plymouth. That's all for this week. Have a great weekend, Wildcats. Thanks, guys. Now on to more information about the Senior Select Art Show. The Novi High School Select Art Show is a showcase of some of the amazing work done by Novi High School's very own students. This artwork is chosen by teachers to be put on display. This artwork includes a collection of jewelry, ceramics, painting, drawing, photography, and digital art. This event is a great way to show off student talent, vision, and voice. So for those of you interested in art and the work of your fellow students, head to the Novi Select Art Show. Presented by Novi Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Services, this show will be featured at the Novi Civic Center from May 3rd to May 28th. Admission is free, so be sure to check it out. This has been Brianna with the Cat's Eye News. Have a great day, Wildcats. Thanks, Jacob and Brianna. My first grade art teacher once told me I had great potential. Now to Drake with the weekend weather. And now for this weekend's weather. Today on Friday, we will have a high of 62 and a low of 43. Saturday will have a high of 58 and a low of 40. Sunday will have a high of 53 and a low of 35. I recommend wearing a jacket or some type of raincoat for this weekend because of the high chance of rain. That's all for this weekend's weather report, Novi. Have a great day. Thanks, Novi, for tuning in to this week's edition of the Cat's Eye News.